Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day. This is the Valder BB Show. Who do I have in the studios with me? Uh, so you have uh, Dr. Purvi Parikh and, and Rosemary Hughes. All right, ladies. Thank you so very much for joining us. And I have a great opportunity for my audience to ask you some Facebook and Twitter questions. But, Dr. Parikh, if you will set the stage, May is National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month. What does that mean? Correct. So um, it, it is National Asthma and Allergy Awareness Month. So that's why we are here today on behalf of uh, Genentech and Novartis to bring light to this issue. Um, asthma and allergies often go hand in hand and 25 million people in this country suffer from asthma and uh, about 60% of those have uh, allergic asthma. So allergic asthma is the most common uh, type of asthma. And it's, um, as the name states, it's triggered by allergens such as dust mites and animal dander. Okay, so that's a lot of people you're talking about, too. Right. <laughs> okay, so you brought a guest with you. Who's the guest? Tell, I'm sorry, give me your name again. Rosemary Hughes. Hi, Rosemary. Are you an allergy asthma sufferer? Oh, yes. I have been for uh, most of my life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it's like to live with those kind of conditions. Uh, well, uh, you have wheezing, difficulty breathing, and so many times I had so much trouble just getting air in and out, just feeling like I could breathe or, or work or whatever I needed to do. Um, and my doctor, I had a wise pulmonologist some years ago, tell me I was a closet asthmatic because I would sneak out, run, use my inhaler, and try not to mm -hmm. let anybody see that I was uh, having problems with, with asthma. Oh, okay. Where are you now? Because it seems like medicine has taken such a turn in so many different diseases and, and conditions. Where are you now with your allergy and asthma? Oh, I am, I am in a better place. My uh, 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 allergist prescribed after a particularly bad uh, attack several years ago, he prescribed Zolaire for me. And he explained the risk, and uh, I started on that. And I've not had a bad asthma attack uh, since then. Um, I still have to avoid my triggers, um, but it has made a difference. Okay, Dr. Parikh, let me ask you, it says that 25 million people or more suffer from these types of conditions. What is, how, how is Zoller change, ch is changing their condition? So uh, Zoller is changing their condition because since the majority of those people have allergic asthma, Zoller is a medication that's approved for people ages 12 and above who have allergic asthma and who are not well controlled um, on their inhaled corticosteroids. So the same way that it helped Rosemary, I can help get your allergic asthma under control. There is a risk of anaphylaxis with Zolair, um, as there is risk of you know, allergic reactions with any medication, um, but it can uh, be very beneficial in bringing uh, allergic asthma specifically under control. All right, then. I've got a Facebook question for you, and it mm -hmm. says, you know, how, how do you know when your asthma is under control if you still have asthma? Right, so the, uh, your asthma is well controlled if you aren't having symptoms more than once or twice per week, if you're not having to go to the emergency room. Even one trip in a year is a sign that you're uncontrolled. If you're not waking up at night, um, all of these things are important factors in your asthma control. And you know, to get more information about it, you can also go to zolair.com, X-O-L-A-I-R.com, and um, there's great information there about allergic asthma specifically and uh, control. I'll take a Twitter question, and this question is, my son is 13 years old, he has asthma. Is this for that age group? Yes, yeah, so it is uh, approved for people who suffer from allergic asthma ages 12 and above. All right, then. Well, it sounds like there's some relief out there for them. What's, what should people be
be getting happy about having this kind of uh, remedy on the sh available to them, doctor? Uh, it's great because um, those people who aren't well controlled, uh, this medication can help bring their asthma back under control. So uh, they're not coughing, they're not wheezing, um, they're not ending up in the emergency room or waking up at night. Uh, so it is uh, very important to get um, this disease under control. Okay, and Dr. Perry, uh, you're a bird, you're a board certified allergist. Correct. And so you do this every day? Yes, every day. All right. So recommendation for my audience who's going to want to get, up, get off this conversation with me. They want to know where to go, where do I get this? The first stop is always your physician, right? Right. It's important because your physician can test you either through blood tests or skin tests to determine if you have um, allergy antibodies called IgE, and then we can better uh, tailor your treatment if it's allergic right. versus not. Okay, one more question. I'll take this last one from Facebook. It says, I have very light allergies. Uh, they don't bother me. I can live with them. Should I be taking something for them? Ooh, good question. So it, it depends um, from patient to patient. Uh, it also depends uh, what they mean by light allergies. Um, of course, if they do have allergies that are causing asthma, um, then I would say it's probably not light and they, they should be on appropriate control or medication. Um, but again, it's a conversation that um, should be had uh, with your physician because uh, light to one person may mean something completely different to another. Dr. Parikh and Rosemary, I want to thank you so very much. It seems like you've changed some people's lives this morning. I want to thank you for sharing that information and for sharing your journey. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us.